The state of the music industry is designed to rip off an artist. That's what I believe. I believe that when the check gets handed to an artist, the check is normally not right. The first person that told me this was Nelly. Nelly told me, you know, you got to learn how to do this thing called an audit. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> and then he was like, man, you got to get a lawyer. And so I searched, I found Jay-Z's auditor, right? And then this guy went and said, I'll do it for, you know, I'm not going to charge you up front. I'm going to take a piece. And I was like, okay. So he goes and he finds over $600,000 that the label hid for me. So I was like, wait a second, is this the way it always is? He's like, yeah, you got to keep on doing this. So I realized all my peers <laughs> didn't know this, that, you know, I used to, I got into the music industry and thought that when you, you know, have a song that's number one, that it just goes magically because your song's good. It's paid. Like, payola is not supposed to be like a thing, but it, it's real. Like, I had to pay a lot of money to get my record to number one. And I started looking at the music industry differently, and all of my peers, I started focusing more on equity, right? I wasn't the guy that was going out and trying to chase a piece of a show that somebody's gonna pay me 10,000 to do. I wanted to get a piece of the actual thing that was holding these buildings up. So I realized all these guys weren't thinking like that. And the way I got off of Universal when they didn't wanna let me go is I told them, if you don't let me go, I'm gonna go teach all these guys on the label how to do an audit. <laughs> and they let me go because of that. They didn't want to pay all that money. So I, I, I was talking to my lawyer at the time, who's Don Passman, and he's, you know, Oprah's lawyer. He doesn't have, you know, rappers. Is, you know, I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. So he, I'm like, man, let's go do this tech stuff, man. There's this industry that's just cannibalizing this music industry. Let's, let's go get involved in this stuff. And he wrote the book on the music industry, and he was like, I can get you out of this deal and get you to another deal, you know? And I was like, I don't want to be in this place because it's designed for us to fail. We're chasing riches and not wealth. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go, you know, try to mess with this tech stuff. I started advising. The first company I started advising for got bought by Google. And that's when I knew it was real. I was like, whoa, this is, this is a real thing. I started putting money in other companies. Luckily, got into Maker Studios. Bam, big exit, right? And unfortunately, I was telling people before, like, hey, you need to come and get into these, this tech. And it's hard because this learning curve of trying to convince these big celebrities to give their money to somebody else when, you know, Twitter needs to give me a million dollars to tweet. You know what I mean? So then I started realizing, wait a second, this is, I'm in the job, I'm in the business of getting equity and it's, it's hard when I hear about streaming audio and stuff like that because on the investor side or the consumer side, I love it. But from the artist standpoint, I'm just watching this industry just go like that and it, it kind of like hurts me to, oh, sorry about that. It kind of <laughs> hurts me to, it hurts me to see that this, 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 these people that were my, my legends fall off and not have any money and trying to figure out what to do.